What's going on, beautiful people? First off, I want to thank the Heavenly Father for allowing us to see another day. It's always a blessing when we can do the Heavenly Father's will. And I also want to thank everyone who has been supporting me and my family on this journey. And no, we haven't found a place yet. Because in these type of situations, you got to have patience. See, when you wait on the Heavenly Father's time, you don't have to settle because he will give you the best. It's been too many times in my life when I settled for something because I felt like it was out of my reach. But guess what? It's not out of the reach of the Heavenly Father. See, the scriptures say, with man it is impossible, but with God, all things are possible according to his will. So. With that being said, we definitely got to wait on God's timing. And I'm going to just continue to work and save up so we can get what the Heavenly Father wants to offer us instead of settling because of lack of faith, doubt because we might feel like it's too much or whatever the case may be. And you know what's crazy? I started thinking about my birthday, y'all. My birthday this month, August the 30th. And as the Heavenly Father allowed me to get older, he's blessed me with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. But I want to let you know that it wasn't always the case. There was a point in time when I was lost. I didn't have no clarity. But the Heavenly Father continued to work on me. See. When you know not what to do in this world, when it feels like you're lost and you're trying to find some sort of clarity in your life, turn to the Heavenly Father. See, the words say, trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not unto your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. See, that's the scripture that blessed my life. You know, when I didn't know what to turn to, I turned to the Heavenly Father. And he gave me clarity. See, a lot of times the reason why we become lost in this world is because we're seeking reputation in hopes that we get validated by people. And so that's why it's so many people in the world that wants all the followers, they want the fame that comes with this social media stuff or just entertainment in general. And that's what the devil will use against you because he wants you to be praised instead of praising the heavenly father. He wants you to exalt yourself instead of exalting the name of the Lord. It's all a bunch of vain glory, y'all. And the devil wants to use that mentality to cause you to self-destruct, to cause you to journey down the wide way that leads to destruction. But what happens when you submit all your ways to the Heavenly Father so that he direct your path, so that he give your life purpose? What happens then? That's when your life begins to transform. That's when you begin to transform into the person God created you to be. See, the longer I live, as I continue to live for the Heavenly Father, the more I learn that Lord Jesus didn't seek after a reputation. He didn't need to be validated by the people. Because he knew where his help came from, and that was the Heavenly Father. He knew what he was created for, and that was to save souls. He allowed the Heavenly Father to exalt him in due time. It took a lot of patience. It took a lot of effort. It took a lot of faith. It took a lot of love to do what he did for the world. 
See, when we lay our life down at the throne of the Heavenly Father, that's when God can change your life. But we must humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God. We must stop trying to seek our own reputation and magnify the name of the Lord instead of our own name. See, the words say, be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. That's the will of God. So if you ever want to know your purpose, think about what Lord Jesus did. He submitted all his ways to the Heavenly Father. He only did the will of God. He didn't listen to what people had to say. He didn't allow people to change his character. He continued to be who God created him to be. See, the Heavenly Father isn't looking for the most talented person. He's not looking for the most smartest person in the world. He don't care about how you look. He don't care about how you sound. He don't care about how you dress. He don't care about what your reputation is, whether it be in the streets or in the colleges. The only thing that the Heavenly Father is searching for is one that has a heart towards him and faithfulness. Because God can give you the desires of your heart. But it's only when you honor the Lord with your substance, with the fruits of your labor. When you exalt the name of the Lord with the things he allowed you to increase in. The Heavenly Father is looking for a heart that's for him and faithfulness. Who has the most faith? Who has the most love for the Heavenly Father? It's a million people that can do what I do. It's a lot of people that speak better than I do. It's a lot of people that look better than I do. It's a lot of people that dress better than I do. But at the end of the day, that doesn't matter. It's all about faithfulness. When the father started using me to spread the gospel, I had no clue on how to do it. But I continued to have faith. That's the only thing I knew. I knew that if you have faith, that's what pleases the heavenly father. Because I already know that this world is going to end, so reputation ain't going to matter. What matters is, did you help someone get to know Lord Jesus. At the end of the day, validation don't matter because you can't please everybody. It's always going to be somebody that dislike what you do. So what really matters is, did you lead someone to Lord Jesus? That's our purpose. And in due time, the Heavenly Father will exalt you. But you got to let the Heavenly Father do the exaltation. And when you get in a better position in life, exalt his name above yours. That's our purpose. And to depart from evil is God's will. Why do you think Lord Jesus laid his life down? So we got to always keep that in our minds, heart and soul. Whenever you feel lost, remember who led you out of captivity. Whenever you're trying to search for purpose, remember who gave our life purpose. That's Lord Jesus. When he laid his life down, he brought us back to the will of God. He brought us back to the righteousness of God. Lord Jesus is who brings our life clarity. I found that to be true because I remember when I was lost, I didn't know what to do in life. I was wondering, what is my purpose? And when I realized that Lord Jesus can give your life purpose, that's when I learned 
It's not about status. And it's most definitely not about reputation. It's not about what you have. It's not about how many followers you gain or subscribers. It's about how many people can you lead back to Lord Jesus? Because only through him that we gain access to the Father that's in heaven. It's not about us, y'all. When you lay your life down, when you pick up your cross daily, when you deny yourself, only then will you find true meaning to life. But when you're trying to succeed so much in this world, that's how you lose yourself. Because the enemy will use that ambition to cause you to chase after stuff of this world. And you start to forget the people you love. You start to forget who you are when you look in the mirror. Because that's not you. See, the enemy wants you to stray away from who God called you to be through Lord Jesus. The enemy wants you to lose yourself so that you don't find truth in Lord Jesus. So I just wanted to get up here to say, forget about reputation. It's more credible to have faith in the heavenly father than to gain success in this world. Because what the word say, the Lord came so that we may have life and have it more abundantly. He's talking about eternal life. When you store your treasure up in heaven, you have something to come home to. Believe that. I love y'all. I pray y'all have a blessed day. And for those that don't know me and my family, we've been searching for a home. But sometimes you just gotta have patience. So keep us in your prayers and keep pushing through. Keep leading people to the Heavenly Father by having faith in Lord Jesus. That's what really gives your life purpose. In Jesus' name, amen.